Zio Tohiju Nagad, Ogana Dawado. Hello, my name is Tanya Still. I'm a former Miss Cherokee in Mesonia, Oklahoma. I am a Cherokee storyteller and a flute player. Today we're in Park Hill, Oklahoma at the John Ross Museum. I'm going to be telling the story of how Rabbit got his long ears and legs, and I will be playing the flute. What a A long time ago, the animals would talk to us, and that's how we know these things. Somewhere along the line, we stopped learning to listen, and so they stopped talking to us. One day, we're going to learn to listen again, and they'll tell us some new stories. A long time ago, Unachlana was looking down on all the world. And Unachlana just means creator. So Unachlana was looking at the world, and all the animals were being nice to each other. They were helping each other with their chores. They were helping each other with their garden. They were helping each other deliver food. Even Rabbit was being kind. And Unachlana thought, I want to do something really nice for them, since they're all being so good to each other. So Unachlana came down from the upper world and came down to the middle world. And when he came to the middle world, all the animals were astonished. They're like, oh, do you see who that is? And so all the animals came rushing up, rushing up to Unachlana. And Unachlana said, I want to give you something good for everyone being so kind to each other and being good and helpful to each other. And he said, I'm going to grant you each one wish. And the animals were all excited. So they were all running up to Unachlana, trying to tell them their, their one wish. And Unachlana said, no, 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 no. This won't work. He said, I need one at a time. He says, I tell you what, get one behind another in a, in a straight line. And so they did. All the animals hurried up and got in a straight line. There were so many animals that circled the world twice. And one by one, each animal came up. First came the deer. He stumbled up and the deer said, Unachlana, I want to thank you for the ability to run so fast. He said, but the problem is, I'm very clumsy. I trip over rocks, I trip over fallen trees, I trip over turtle shells. I just need to be able to run and not fall. So Unachlana said, I understand. So we went, poof. And so the deer is one of the most graceful, fastest animals we have in the forest today. Next came Eagle, and Eagle came up, and Eagle said, Unachlana, I want to thank you for the ability to fly, and fly really high. He said, but my, my wings are not long enough. I get tired so quickly because I have to keep flapping my wings to stay up in the air. He said, do you think you can help me? And Unachlana said, yes, and he went poof. And his wings grew long and beautiful. And now when you look in the sky, you can see Eagle just soaring for a long time looking for his food. Next came Skunk. And Unachlana said, what can I do for you? And Skunk said, everybody thinks I'm just adorable and cute. They won't ever leave me alone. They're always wanting to me to be their friend and wants to me to hang out with them and wants me to be over for dinner. And I said, I just want to be left alone. Unachlana thought about it and says, okay, poof. So now, Skunk is definitely left alone, right? Next came Rabbit. And Unachlana asked Rabbit, says, well, what is your wish? And Rabbit said, I have two wishes, if that's okay. And Unachlana thought about it and he was like, well, you have been very good, Rabbit. All right, what are your two wishes? And Rabbit's like, all right, you see, I have these little bitty ears. And so, I can never hear anything. And when I do hear something, it's already too late. And so the animals are always sneaking up on us, and we're always getting eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's when I thought, okay, okay, we can fix that. He says, what else? He said, all right, when we, that we do hear them, our legs are so short, we can't get away. He says, is there any way you can help us? And I thought, yes, yes, I can, I can grant you those two wishes, but I can't poof you like I did everybody else. So I'm going to need all the animals that have received their wishes to turn around. So all the animals that had received their wishes, they turned around. And he said, I need all the animals who haven't received their wishes to turn around. So all the animals who hadn't received their wishes, they turned around. Unachlana picked up Rabbit by his little bitty ears. Now Rabbit used to have a really long, pretty white tail. Well, when he yanked on those ears, his ears came stretching out, but his little long white tail came up to a little bitty cottontail. Then he grabbed Rabbit by his back legs and he yanked on him. And when he yanked on him, his back legs came stretching out. But when he did that, he looked way down the line of the animals who hadn't received their wishes yet. And Al, who was turned around, had turned his head all the way around. And when he saw what Unachlana had done to Rabbit, his eyes got that big. And Unachlana said, all right, that's it. 
I asked for no one to look. And because Al did, his eyes are going to stay that way. So Unechlana started going up, up to the, the upper world and leaving the middle world. And when he was going up to the upper world, Rabbit was jumping up and down on his back legs saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, what about me? What about my front legs? And Unechlana said, one day when all the animals of the world are kind to each other again, I'll come back down and stretch out your front legs. So to this day, Rabbit is still waiting for all the animals of the world to be kind to each other so he can get his front legs stretched out. Thank you. Bye-bye.